Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So today we're gonna do a messages from your person reading. Uh, the person who's on your mind, we're gonna get some messages from them, what they want to tell you, what you need to know. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can choose from the thumbnail or the timestamps, go with your intuition, choose the group that resonates with you. It's a general reading, so just pick what resonates and take what resonates and forget what doesn't. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting the channel on an ongoing basis. You guys are rock stars. So for group one, we're going to get a little story here from the cards. So this will help you pick if you haven't chosen already. So... Everything's going to be all right. This person's going to treat you with the respect. You're going to be treated right, okay? Maybe you haven't felt like you have been treated right in a situation, in love in general. But we're seeing that getting better in, like, in the future, though. It's like in the future. So at least you're aligning with that, right? If you're not experiencing fair treatment now, um, equal give and take, then in the future it's saying that you will, okay? Things will be better. Things will be good. That's group one. For group two... I think this person is surprised to find that you are the marrying kind, like you are a dream woman or a dream man, depending on who's watching, a divine counterpart, a soulmate. Things may be very messy, things could be crazy, um, but this person's having like an epiphany about, um, you know, what a resource you are, how much you have to offer. Also, if you are in a marriage, uh, for those of you who will be, most who watch are single or in some other kind of situation or a complicated situation it's a complicated marriage then it does feel like this person is feeling that the marriage is messy that maybe something has um, happened that's been shocking okay but for the rest of you it feels to be that you know this person is coming across thinking that you know you're like the you're a dream woman and that might have caught them off guard and maybe there's something about you that is or the situation that is a little bit messy maybe it involves other people but that's group two And for group three, help us to don't flip out cards. Group three with your spastic asses. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I'm a character, so don't be surprised if I make random asides. But for group three, those who are watching group three to help them pick what's going on or what do they need to know from the cards. person's not telling you that they love you okay uh, maybe they're making you feel like a friends with benefits type situation um, or that it's all about the physical but that's fake that's phony that's not true they're holding something back for an odd few of you it could be that this person has told you that they love you but it's really just kind of like a wild passionate affair for them and they're not being completely truthful about that you're gonna know based on your intuition whether which one is the case okay if it's confusing it's probably not your message the other you know those are the two messages coming through but bottom line um, somebody's not saying it somebody's holding something back it has to do with love it has to do with the love life it could have to do with the child so that could resonate as well again if it's your message you'll know um, but it has to do with uh, keeping a secret regarding love in a passionate affair or relationship situation okay that's what we've got for you guys pause the video if you need more time we're gonna get started with the messages from this person and group one Welcome, group one. 
what messages shall we start with? We're gonna go ahead and, these aren't really message cards, they're more like oracle cards, but I like them, so we're gonna use them. They can still tell us, you know, give us an idea of what your person's thinking. So go ahead and think about your person of interest. For everyone who has chosen group one, the person of interest, the one on their mind, what would they tell them? We've got perfect match. You. Uh, you complete each other in the most harmonious way, okay? So that's what they're saying. They feel like you guys are a perfect match. That goes with that Six of Pentacles earlier uh, card that we saw earlier about equal give and take, being treated right, a fair deal. Um, and so this person, if they're not treating you that way, they will because they do feel like, you know, you are their perfect match. Um, and that you're good just the way that you are. I'm hearing, like, I like you just the way you are. Like, there's nothing that you need to change. Let's get another one from this deck just because I want to. What else would this person say to the viewer? Those who have chosen group one. Yeah, they want to tell you this. They want to give you words of affirmation. They want to spend time with you, quality time. They love loving words hold great power. So they definitely want to tell you this. Like they want to tell you sweet things. They want to tell you the things that you want to hear. I'm not getting necessarily because you know they have ill intentions or anything like that but because they just want to tell you like the loving things that um, that you want to hear. They want to tell you this. They want to tell you some of the stuff that I just said, right? A perfect match. So let's go with that. <clears throat> I feel like there's been blockages to this communication and or the relationship and maybe even in your astrological charts, you guys have some squares like some blockages and difficult points of conflict in your personalities or in the situation. But this person's like saying that they want to be good to you. They want to give you what you've given them. They want to tell you this. They want to tell you that they like you the way you are. I feel like some of you have told this person that they are your perfect match, you've said nice things to them, they want to reciprocate that. What else would this person say to group one if they had no filter? You bring the unexpected, and even if we ebb and flow a lot in this relationship, I love it, so. It looks like it's had its ups and downs. People could be behaving moodily, like this person could have been moody, for example, or just ups and downs in the relationship. It could be cyclical. It goes away and it comes back around again, on again, off again. It doesn't have to be, but definitely like the person says, like you bring the unexpected. So they don't, they don't mind that. Or they're coming to appreciate that. Like they still, um, you know, want to deal with you. They, they still find value in the relationship. I need to consider the facts objectively so that everyone's treated fairly. Okay. You could be dealing with a Libra, somebody with that strong in their chart, somebody born in the year of the dog, potentially. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius, somebody born in the year of the rat or the uh, rabbit. You could be dealing with somebody that has a one life path, two life path, or three, or some combination thereof. It is really worth, if you're interested in getting a full numerology chart, because just like the astrology chart, it's not as simple as just your, your sun sign, right? It's not just as simple as your as your life path number with numerology it goes much deeper than that okay but that's what's coming through here this person is saying they need to consider the facts objectively so that everyone's treated fairly again that goes back to the six of pentacles energy of wanting to treat you treat you fairly equal give and take to put in what they are receiving out of it maybe they haven't been doing that maybe you haven't been doing that if, regardless they want equal give and take and they're looking at ways to make it fair Got you have a very sweet side, but you won't suffer fools. You cut them out and keep it moving. So maybe you've blocked this person. Maybe you've cut them out. Maybe they think that you will or that you would. Maybe they've seen you do it to other people. You could be a strong air sign energy. Again, that strong Libra here. Libras typically don't do that, but sometimes, you know, they can. I've seen it. The men usually. Not me, of course. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> um, just playing sort of not it's off topic um, but yeah that's what they're saying like they see that you you know you won't suffer for fools okay if you're feeling like you know no I am a softie or whatnot then maybe this person doesn't suffer fools okay but that's what they're saying and then we've also got I'm ecstatic about this new love I met guess who it's you you make my heart flutter so regardless of how long you've been together you still make this heart person's heart flutter their heart still beats for you 
Um, maybe they would tease you, you know, maybe you think they have someone else. Maybe you think something or someone else matters more to them. Um, but what they're saying is that they still feel for you, okay? And uh, if a new beginning is needed, they want that. Um, maybe it's a newer connection. They still feel like the feelings that they had when it was early on in the connection. Again, if this is cyclical with that Wheel of Fortune energy, it comes around in circles. So it's like they're ready for a new beginning, a new start with you. Even if you're still together, this a new beginning, a new start. That's what a cycle means, okay? A new cycle within an existing relationship for those who are in a relationship with the person. What else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? I'm forever yours. Exactly, see? That goes along with that Wheel of Fortune energy. There's something that feels destined, faded, like you were meant to meet. Um, and that this is going to keep coming back around lifetime after lifetime or just um, era after era within one's life, you know. They are considering things, the situation objectively, so everyone's treated fairly. I think they know maybe that you will not tolerate anything less than like really great, I'm hearing perfect treatment. But just they want to treat you fairly. And I'm watching from the outside, so you might be wondering like, if you're not in contact with this person, for example, like how would they know that you were in Queen of Swords energy? Or how would they assume anything about you? They're watching from the outside. However they can do that. They're, they've observed or are, are observing the situation to see the truth about it, to understand, you know, what's the right thing to do here. And even if you're together in a relationship, this person could feel like you keep them at a distance. But at that time, when you do that, they get perspective, they're objective, they see things, like it gives them the space to kind of observe and see things about you. Yeah, fermentation, stagnation, worthlessness. So it could be that the relationship's in stagnation, okay? But we've got, oh, compassionate, the beauty of love at the bottom of the deck. So there is that love here, There, there is that feeling for one another. But maybe at times when the wheel is turning against the relationship, it does feel like it's worthless. What are, what are we doing? Or it's pointless. But um, in stagnation, things are still happening behind the scenes. Like things are brewing. I haven't used this deck in a while. It used to be a favorite on my deck when I did these readings. So let's use it and see what this person wants to say. Not everything's all my fault. So either they're being defensive or they feel you have blamed them or would blame them for something. Maybe there's somebody that takes things to heart a bit much, getting like a defensive energy. There's someone else I have to deal with first and that goes along with the, I need to consider the facts um, objectively to make sure everybody's treated well. It could be some sort of legal implications, maybe somebody needs to get a divorce, break a lease, some other sort of legal implications here could be in the way of the situation but bottom line regardless it's about um, you know doing what's right for some of you it has to do with like their children or a child child support having to do what's right with regard to that Got some cards falling on the floor we'll get one, one more from this deck Okay, these cards want to be messy, so let's do it again. Here we go. <clears throat> Says you're the only one who really knows me at all. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius, somebody with that strong in their chart, or born in the air of the tiger. Don't have to be, okay? So. Not everything's my fault. There's someone I, has to deal, I have to deal with first. You're the only one who really knows me at all. It's like this person feels like you already know. You already know what the situation is. It's general reading, of course, and energies always can be vice versa or interchangeable. But to whom I'm talking to, where this is resonating, you know what the situation's basically about. You know, this person feels like, you know, sometimes, like they blame themselves even for the situation being where it's at or having its ups and downs and for there being any kind of distance or stagnation. Despite their feelings for you, despite them feeling like you're the perfect match for them, despite them wanting to tell you how they feel, 
um, there's still been issues and this person's like, I'm, it's not all my fault, I just have to deal with something, so maybe that's the reason for the distance or complications for those that resonates with, but bottom line, they're saying like, you know that, and they also feel like, even if you don't know the specifics, you know them, right? That's what they're saying. Like you're the only one that really knows them at all. Which is a big, it's a big deal for somebody to say that. Like, some people don't even know themselves. A lot of people don't know themselves very well. This person feels like you know them. What else would group one's person say if they had no filter to group one? My ex is an effing nightmare. There you go. Some of them are still dealing with their ex, a baby's mother, a baby's father. It could even be like <clears throat> a family member. Not that a family member can be an ex, but if you cut them off, they can be. And um, we've got this stop taking your insecurities out on me coming out. So I feel like that's talking about whoever this nightmare is in their life. Um, the person saying that that person's taking their insecurities out on them. Maybe they think that you would do the same but they don't because thinking of you, you are the sweetest. So it's letting us know, basically, that any doubts regarding how these cards came out with in terms of stop taking your insecurities out of me, they're saying, nah, it's not you, you're the sweetest, it's this person or this third party influence. are piping up about something that I should say okay basically that if somebody is saying that their ex is a nightmare then you know look at the common denominator here is that a pattern in their life because oftentimes when somebody has an, a nightmare ex that ex didn't start off as a nightmare okay <laughs> just putting that out there in other words they were made that way for a reason like some something happened to them something transpired in the situation that made them like that so it's like a warning but for others of you, um, I mean, I feel like you guys will know. Or it's just being forewarned is forearmed. So if you think at all that that is applicable, then just keep that in mind. What else would this person say? That's not always the case, obviously. That's why I wasn't going to say it. But if my guys want to keep bringing it up, then somebody needs to hear that. What else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Love is not a word I use lightly. I do feel like this person loves you and cares about you. I'm jealous of every single person who's closer to you than I am. So this person can be a bit controlling. Or they could be if you don't know that, if you aren't in a relationship with them. So this is what I was talking about with that energy. Like, there's always two sides to every story. And so, yeah, this person's basically saying that. If they ever told you they love you, they damn well meant it. They don't use that word lightly. If they haven't told you that, they want to. If they have an attitude sometimes. They're jealous. They're a jealous guy. So I'm hearing that song. Um, jealous guy. I think that was made by, or written by John Lennon. Was Libra, he was involved with an Aquarius. There's that air sign energy again. I want to tell you how I feel. What did I say? Can't make that up. I'm starting to understand our connection. <coughs> Excuse me. This one was mixed in. It was in the wrong deck. We'll honor it. It says, I lose, I lose sleep at night thinking about you and listening for the phone. This person wants to hear from you. At the very least, they... Uh, I'm trying to say. I'm trying to decide what next deck I want to use. I guess we'll use this one. You know, at the very least, you know, they think about you at night. They have lost sleep over you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not trying to use every messages deck that I have today, but I'm on a roll. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Something needs to be forgiven and forgotten. What 
else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Misunderstanding. So there's some sort of a misunderstanding regarding something here, regarding what? Or what else would they say? So close, but yet so far. You might think that this person's far away from you or you're not on the same page or they don't feel the same way about you. They're like, that's a misunderstanding. I do feel close to you. Think about things different. They want to take a new approach here. They feel like they owe you something, karmic justice at the bottom of the deck. They need to make something up to you. We got five of swords energy that tried to come out even though I wasn't grabbing that deck. And the winner takes it all is the name of that. So maybe this person was just acting from their ego. And as a result of that, didn't treat you right. Six of pentacles, they're wanting to treat you better. They're wanting to treat you as good as you have treated them. What would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Oh, come back here. Try again. <laughs> Try again. Thank you. <clears throat> and it says, let's turn loose our golden falcons so that they can meet in the sky where our spirits belong, necking like two hot kids. I don't know how you say that. Halfies? Why just ask the donkey? Is that a song? Okay. So it's like this person has a fantasy of you, of being with you. And a lot of attraction, a lot of passion. You can look up like falcon symbology. You know the royals used to have falcons they were falconeers they did that for fun it was like a hobby and no matter where it's a wild bird but they trained it to come back so maybe somebody here is wild and they're they're coming back maybe you've trained them maybe you haven't also it's talking about the sense of control as well that we talked about earlier somebody could have it seems like this person has some control issues but also it's like feeling like it's a spiritual connection with a lot of passion attached to it. Let's get a couple more messages from this person. I hardly ever use this deck. I want to start over with you. They want the cycle to come back around. I am not strong enough to tell you no, but you should discover other possibilities. I knew something like that was going to come out. And they might have told you that. They might even feel that way or think that way sometimes. They might still tell you that. But really, you fulfill my soul is what's really coming out. So why would they tell you that? That's another, like, reading. <laughs> We're here to hear what they have to say. Not pull out the tarot cards and really get into it. I got to start group two. Let's see. Maybe it'll come out in one of these other messages. I mean, if it's been a long time, or there's been a lot of ups and downs, it's been going on for a while, and you guys just can't get on the same page, it's like, it doesn't matter what they say or what they intend, the proof is in the pudding, something needs to change. Maybe they know that, maybe they're just lovingly encouraging you, hey, maybe I'm not the right person for you, have you ever thought about that? That won't be for everyone, and I feel like you probably have, but somebody might need to hear that. Yeah, exactly, being, seeking, being. Get out there on, on the dating apps, God forbid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that to anyone. <laughs> Some people have luck, though. I have to say, a good friend of mine met her husband on there. It was a miracle. Um, he's a great guy. They're a great couple. But um, that's what I'm saying. Medium danger here. I enjoy medium danger. So this is like saying there's a little bit of something, something going on with this person. Like they know that maybe your heart's not 100% safe with them. And maybe you should be looking out for other people. Communication device. I failed to power my device. And now it fails to function. Yeah. So something about um, basically forgot to charge the phone. But it's more like this person 
doesn't know how to communicate properly or there's a communication issue in the relationship and maybe this person is just not that good. I'm getting thoughts of Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice when he's telling Elizabeth that some people don't communicate as well as other people and she says, well, I don't play this piano as well as I would like to, but I always supposed it was my own fault because I didn't take the trouble of practicing. So in other words, this person doesn't know how to communicate very well, they fail to function at communicating. Um, but they also, you know, haven't tried as much as they could have. We've also got deception coming out. This smells like sweet discs, but it is not. So a scented candle, so that could have some resonance here. Um, it says take all sweet discs from one of your connected beings and lose your connection square. So um, selfishness, deception. And that might have been the end of the relationship. Perish, done, done, done. For those that this is an ex or something from the past or where there, you know, where there has been endings, ebbs and flows. We saw that earlier, you know, some lack of good communication, some deception, um, something smelling and presenting itself like the candle as something that it isn't. And that's caused issues. So let's see what this person wants to say from the romance angels and then I'm gonna be done with this reading. I might get you a song card too. If this was the only reading that I was doing, I would spend more time on it, but it's not, so. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box down below the video. And um, as always, Keen is running that $1 for five minutes. The link for that is down below as well. Exactly, deception, what is going on? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, so they are feeling like there's some deception taking place here. It could involve friends. If you guys share friends and have people in common, let your friends uh, help you, ask for and accept support from others. So maybe, you know, some, there's been some shady friends, deceptive friends, and there was some sort of deception around that. Maybe they deceived themselves or you in saying that this was just about friendship. Um, Mostly though, it feels honestly like there's some sort of deception. I do feel like this person feels that you also did not present yourself or do not present yourself 100% authentically. Whether you do or you don't, it does feel like they're not only admitting to or acknowledging some sort of deception that they might have done, but a perceived deception they feel like you have done as well. Sometimes people put on a false mask to keep the other person in their life longer than they would have otherwise. Where people walk around on eggshells, that kind of thing, only see each other in certain circumstances, so you're never really seeing the full picture of who someone is. What's a song that will help this um, group understand or would be a message from, more messages from their person? We've got Page of Wands, this girl is on fire, Alicia, Key, Alicia Keys. And we've got King of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck, Eye of the Tiger Survivor. So communication, passionate communication, texting, early days of a relationship, the passionate early phases of a relationship, passionate communication, uh, and a new beginning here is what this person is talking about <clears throat> with that one. Okay. So is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, thanks guys for tuning in. Appreciate you. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It does support the channel and help to keep it going. I'm going to go ahead and take it to group two. Stick around for that if you want to. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys next time. Welcome group two, thanks for tuning into your reading. 
Okay, so what were the cards that came out for you guys? We had uh, a group of people, and within that, a, an ideal woman, a comfortable situation, or an ideal man, but somebody like the feminine, an ideal feminine, but also a messy situation or something that happens kind of shocking or feeling out of control. But there's just a lot going on with it. What would group two's person say if they had no filter? For everyone watching group two, what would their person say? Self-love, love yourself first. I think some of you are really good at loving yourselves first and that makes you more lovable because you feel good, you look good, that's more attractive to people. Some of you might need to hear that, love yourself first, because maybe you're not doing those things, that's your hint that you should. What else? What else would this person say to group two? Time apart. So another separation group it looks like. Or maybe you guys are in a relationship but this person is like focusing on themselves or needs to do that. They can't be a good partner to you unless they take time for themselves. Maybe you know you can't be as good a partner to them if you don't take time for yourself. There always should be that healthy sense of self-love. We don't say that to just hear ourselves talk it's an absolute fact you can't skip it okay um, sometimes people are doing good in the relationship but somebody needs to take to step away because they need to take care of themselves otherwise they're not going to do as good of a job in the relationship anymore so take it how it resonates that could be the reason for the time apart if there's time apart otherwise um, you guys are just in separation but yeah self-love time apart those two things are connected Somebody's here for a female or a feminine who is the one that has put the brakes on things. Has taken a break from a relationship. And they're making themselves happy. She's making herself happy. Okay. Well, what else would this person say if they had no filter? I absolutely cannot resist the strong sexual attraction I feel for you. Somebody could be a Capricorn got more Empress energy here um, can be any sign typically associated with Libra and Taurus you're everything I want in a partner I'm open to starting a family with you got lots of major arcana cards coming out here uh, we may be opposites but if we try we can make a potent combination it's possible we'll end up together so it feels like somebody might have gone off to to um, sow their oats kind of thing. And that used to be, you know, traditionally something that men were thought to do or need to do more often than women, but you know, it's a different world these days. It could be that the woman was the one that wasn't ready to start a family or have, you know, the happily ever after. Like it wasn't time, it's on divine timing. Just saying it's not for everybody, but just letting you know there's this energy of, I still feel, feel very attracted to you, I like almost to the point of obsession, but yet, um, and I do see you being somebody that I can ultimately end up with. Um, like I see this as being a, a very spiritual connection, even a divine connection. Something that maybe I don't have control over, like it's going to happen, we're going to end up together. But um, again, with that time apart and that self-love, it's like that needs to happen first. It's not due to a lack of love. If this is a newer connection, they do like you. Replace the word love with like if it's new connection. But this person say, don't worry about me. I can bear my own burdens plus yours too. So maybe you are worried about this person. Worried about like how they're handling their life. Maybe some of them have addictive tendencies or other bad habits that you worry about with them. And this is saying like, you know, they're good okay they're good they're want they're wanting to tell you they're good so all right I 
like this relationship has been a journey. Somebody could have strong six in their numerology or strong Cancerian energy. I don't know how much longer I can do this. And no one knows I still think about you. So I don't know how much longer they can be without you. Like they feel like they can handle the struggles and the problems of their life, maybe even struggles of this relationship. But on the other hand, there are times when they question how long they can handle that. Uh, if you guys are apart, they don't know how long, much longer they can be apart from you. They're just saying they don't know how much longer they can do something that's been difficult for them, but they do still think about you regardless of, even if it doesn't seem like they do, some of them are very obsessive when they think about you and they're very attracted to you as well, thinking about you in a sensual way as well. Okay. And I think this person had an epiphany about you at some point that you um, could very well be the one, their ideal man, their ideal person, right? When that, I think that came to them as kind of a shock. Like they didn't realize that at first. I think there's always been a connection, but I also feel like there's other people around the connection that maybe have been a distraction. Maybe you have friends in common or see somebody at a certain place at times. I don't know how that has played in specifically to them having this epiphany. But they do still think about you is what they're saying. <clears throat> I think they also think about like the struggles and the problems too. It's not just that they, yeah, especially if there's been an ending here with the defeat card, destruction, reduction, like the relationship has been demoted from like you guys interacting all the time or from you being, from them being the apple of your eye and they feel like they're not anymore. Just something, right? With this, this is Nine of Swords energy. So defeat, destruction, and that came out when I was talking about you know, some of the struggles that this person perceives. And we've got King of Swords um, energy here, King of Spades, which is like highway to the danger zone, okay? <laughs> I always hear that song whenever I see the King of Swords energy, that song from Top Gun, Highway to the Dan Highway to the Danger Zone. So I feel like it has to do with the masculine here. Victory, triumph, physical or mental release. It's a very tough energy, but there's something here about them that makes them feel like um, the situation has def is defeated or they defeated you. I think mostly kind of like maybe this person seems like that they don't care about you. Or maybe they don't care about what's happened or how they've hurt you, things like that. Hence why they say nobody nobody knows they still think about you because they're in king of swords energy but yet they're still over here thinking about you and how they can't resist you and how you know you're everything that they want in a partner and that even if you're different that you could end up together and stuff like that so at the same time it's like they're their own worst enemy and they don't know how much longer they can carry on behaving this way okay and what else would this person say to the viewer? They had no filter. I settled for something I no longer want. I said there's other people around the situation. So maybe this person's in another relationship or it's a work situation, school situation, family situation. Something they're talking about um, that they didn't settle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I broke your heart. That's that 10 of spades energy. It might feel like they don't care, you know, about what's caused the separation or the fact that they have maybe prioritized themselves, their own wants and needs over the relationship in a way that caused you to feel, it's causing you to feel reduced or not important or not as important. Um, but they are sorry. Exactly, right here, you can't make it up. You don't know how bothered I really am. What I was just talking about, this person is acting like they don't care and we've got two cards here. No one knows they still think about you and you don't know how bothered I really am saying like, yeah, this person's hiding something here. Like they have feelings here. They're not showing it. They're being stoic. They're putting on that strong, masculine, stoic, cold, logical mask. And I feel like this person is that way. So it's not like they're being 
inauthentic, but they're just leaning into it too much, leaning into that King of Swords energy too much. That's why they're getting on their own nerves, I feel like. I've been listening to my intuition and not getting pushed over anymore. Okay, so maybe this person, you you know, used to be more in their heart space, more intuitive, more in touch with their feminine side, as we all have both, right? Both masculine and feminine. And then they got walked over, so then they became like, like overcorrected, overcompensating by being super tough. But at least they're saying that they are listening to their intuition more. So they're like saying that they are shifting back away from overcompensating. I'm ashamed of things I've done in my past. So when they're in their ego and in the shadow energy of the King of Swords, they could have done some things that they regret. Um, clearly they have things that they're saying that they are ashamed of. Um, the King of Swords in his shadow energy is you know, corrupt, dishonest. He's mean. <laughs> like, I was going to say he's mean. Uh, he's a big meanie head. Um, just to be silly. But, you know. I'm sorry for you guys. I don't like to see that. My regulars know how I feel. You know about my clients and my customers sometimes um, and my viewers. Like, I'm the one that they would send in at my job to deal with the difficult man. <laughs> Like, this is a difficult person send her in <laughs> so I'm like the equalizer I'm like the Denzel Washington right let me equal well, you know not to that extent or degree right but in a like energetic sense send the equalizer in that's what I feel like doing for you guys on this person but they are already ashamed of how they've treated you or how they've behaved okay and if they haven't treated you badly or none of this is resonating you chose the wrong group simply choose a different group but um or check out a playlist link down below or you know get five minutes for one dollar that's linked down below as well get a personal reading but what else would this person say to group two if they had no filter I want to take you out on the best date of your life so they do want to impress you they want to woo you they want to treat you good right when somebody says they want to take you out on the best date of your life that's what that's, that's what they want to do that's what that the whole point of that is to treat you really good and to impress you to make you feel good to treat you like the queen that you are the king that you are okay I am getting strong Aquarius and uh, Gemini and Libra obviously that's air sign energy with the king swords but especially like Libra and Aquarius energy like I happen to know of and have had knowledge of now, two of those signs that really fits this energy here, okay? Not just people that I have dealt with, but people that I have observed and where they will be extremely difficult, cold, and uh, even calculating to the point of, wow. And then, but yet, they'll take you to the, the restaurant where, you know, basically there's a maitre d' and you have to get all dressed up to go there and then you're going on the carriage ride afterwards and they're buying you the roses and sending you the romantic music and like all of this stuff right not really love bombing but more like they have that potential within them to really you know woo you especially like in a traditional romantic sense uh in a very opulent luxurious way that would get them a pat on the back from society okay <laughs> I'm not saying that that's good or that's bad. I'm just saying that's what I'm seeing that this person is, I feel like that's what they're talking about. That's the kind of date they would want to take you out on. The absolute best date of your life, right? This is the type of person that if they knew you were going to get your hair done for the date that night, they would go ahead at, ahead of time and pay for your hair to get done. And then when it was time to pay, they would say, oh, your man already took care of it that kind of thing and then they come and pick you up their cl their car freshly washed <laughs> you know they're looking mighty fine you know dressed to the nines I don't know how the kids talk today but that's how we talked back in my day and I just like to take adjectives from all the different uh, generations and eras and and utilize them for my own purposes but yeah and then take you to the fancy restaurant and like really wine and dine you and say all the right things and blah 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 and it's not all fake because it's this person does like to do those things when they allow themselves to when they allow themselves to be softer I'm peacocking to get your attention is it working and then there's that you know part of it is like I said before you know about doing the things that will get them a pat on the back like I'm hearing uh, Jewel the singer Jewel she has a song and one of the lyrics is fashionably sensitive 
but too but too cool to care. So that kind of an in energy for some of you, that's more so of the issue here, what's coming through, okay? There are some of you, you know, it's genuine when they act like that, but you can do both. They can genuinely enjoy treating you and know that you deserve to be treated like a queen and also at the same time, you know, be doing a performance of, so of sorts, you know, to get attention or to get a pat on the back, you know, to be able to tell themselves, hey, look, I, you know, checked all the boxes of what, you know, it means to be a good partner, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So if you get it, you get it. I'm gonna move on to the next, the next deck. Somebody could be dealing with somebody born in the year of the rooster or a Virgo. Virgo man, masculine. Okay. And what else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? I feel you even though we're apart. I remember every detail of that day. Bottom of the deck, this person's saying, I love you. <clears throat> so if there was a day where they told, you know, you that they love you or where you guys exchanged that sentiment to each other, that's the day specifically in question, the day that they're talking about, okay? That won't resonate for everyone. What it will resonate for is um, maybe the day that you split, the day that was the last straw or the last time you saw each other. else would this person say to group two if they had no filter? My mind and heart always comes back to you. So, so no matter how far they try to wander away, you know, their mind and their heart always comes back to you. Just like it says, you know, at the beginning here, um, they feel like you're the perfect partner. <laughs> Nobody can compare to you. Nobody can compare to you. Like you're their ideal person and that they feel like you guys can end up together. If they could see themselves ending up with someone like you. And more specifically, you. I've got I remember you is what I opened up on. So if you think this person has forgotten about you, or that they don't think about you, they do. Sometimes they can't help it, they just feel you. They feel your energy. So if you're thinking about this person a lot, make sure that you're telling the story in your head of the outcome that you wanna have. So if you want to marry this person and have a really healthy, compatible relationship, then you better be fantasizing about that because they're gonna pick up on your energy. Everybody's you pushed out. Just saying. What else would this person say if they had no filter? Procreation. Okay, so again, there's that energy of being parents. You could be parents together. If so, maybe they want to have another child with you. If you don't have children together, that's something that is on their mind. They want to create something with you. Hey, maybe, they, maybe they're an earth sign and they want to, you know, create a garden with you, right? Someplace hospitable to bees, okay? Um, they want to have a nice little happy a home with you is what I'm taking even if it's not about procreation but it feels like it does have to because even if this person doesn't want to have children or that's never been like a driving force with them um, even if circumstances don't support maybe procreation together it's the passion it's like this visceral passion that the two of you feel about obsession as well so I can't make that up I said that earlier um, and then kiss me at the bottom of the deck so it's like the passion of the relationship and the attraction for this person is what makes them thinking about, you know, having children with you or just because it's a visceral thing, right? Like if you're a youngin on my channel, hopefully you're over 18, then you might not know what that feels like. Maybe you do. But it's the kind of attraction that would make somebody that was maybe staunchly against having children reconsider because it's your animal nature takes over. Okay, so that being said, what else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter?
When you get aroused playing Scrabble, that's love, baby. Elizabeth Taylor. Passionate Elizabeth Taylor, right? She could be dealing with a Pisces, she could be dealing with a Scorpio, or somebody with those traits. group two if they had no filter. Uh-huh. You deserve everything in this world. I want to spoil you. That's what I was saying earlier about this King of Swords coming out and this card of I want to take you out on the best date, date of your life. Like this person sees you as the Empress. They feel like they want to tell you that you're the Empress. That, you know, if they were going to settle down, it would be with you. If they settle for something else that they don't want anymore, then that's because that person isn't you um that even if you guys are very different or whatever's happening if you're in separation they still feel like you know you deserve the world they want to spoil you they want to give it to you now if they do it or not is a different thing hopefully they will they feel like they really want to okay they know that you are the empress point blank period they're viewing themselves and coming across as a king that's still high up on the chain but they're not at your level they're close <laughs> but they're not close but no cigar um but they they value you like they see your value and your worth you are the one to them you are the one you're their neo <laughs> you're the one you're their trinity i have lots of things on my mind i love you at the bottom of the deck isn't that the, the second time in this reading that we had i love you at the bottom of the deck I'd be surprised if this person never told you that they loved you. But either way, I have a lot of things on my mind. Yeah, because this person's a thinker. I feel like they really do have strong air in their chart. But, you know, they could have strong fire. They could have strong anything. And, and just because it's you, they think about you a lot. Like, even if they are not somebody that thinks a lot in general, when it comes to you, they're, they've got a lot on their mind. I just feel like they think a lot about any, anything, really. I think they do have things going on that make them think. But one of those things that they're thinking about is you. Also, this person say if they had no filter, let's get these cards under control. Twelve, twenty-nine, eighteen. my fortunate digits were truly fortunate so they feel like you're a winner to be with you is to win the lottery jackpot like to have you is to to be a winner okay like you're their lucky star you bring good fortune into their life okay like you make their life better to not to exaggerate but you make this person's life worth living where you give them hope like <clears throat> And maybe more specifically, there you know, finances have been improved by this relationship. They have experienced luck as a result of knowing you. And then we've got remorse, only one sweet disc per being. Yeah. So I think this person does feel greedy, addicted to you, obsessed with you. I feel like some of you felt, felt this way or feel this way towards this person. But maybe it happened before the time was right. Maybe like one or both of you had a lot of different people to, cho to choose from. Um, or that just the time timing wasn't right. And, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why we had that self-love back here. It's like maybe it was like a codependent relationship or had that potential to become a codependent relationship because of the intensity of the, tr the attraction and the feelings. So at some point, you know, the universe or one or both of you decided, you know, hey, wait, we need to slow this down, you know. We need to limit ourselves. We need to practice moderation. Being, seeking, being. I enjoy orb catching. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. Did you guys watch, like, football games together? Other sports together? Do you have sports in common? Or is this talking about this person like sports? Okay. Maybe you're one of those um, people that goes to like sports bars to meet people 
um, even if you're not into the sports themselves, or maybe they're saying, hint, you know, hint, hint, this is where I can be found. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if they have a dating profile, for those who have met this person through that route, you know, one of the things that they talked about was their love for sports. Maybe this person, you know, expressed a love for football or basketball, soccer, whatever the case may be. Getting football. What else would this person say if they had no filter? Separation again. So the time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So they're wanting to talk about that again. Let's get a card from this songs deck. What else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Six of Pentacles, Six of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have number 21, the world. So, Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take. The world is the best card in the deck. So it's about ending a cycle after a long journey, but feeling really good about it. Like, like you've up-leveled, like you've graduated, like you're experiencing being on top of the world. I feel like that's how this person feels about you, regardless of if the relationship has ended, like they look back upon that journey as something that got them to where they are today and something that was valuable despite its ups and downs. Um, we've got a give a little bit, Super Tramp, that is um, Six of Pentacles energy, okay? That's the song, Super Tramp, give a little bit. So give a little bit of your love to me. So wanting a little bit of your love, not all of your love apparently. <laughs> right now but all you know a little bit just you know both of you guys can uh, find a happy medium and I do feel like there's this person wants that separation or needs that separation to continue um, or there to still be some distance between you for the time being into the foreseeable future we're not looking into that that's not what this reading is about it's about their messages um, but they still have good feelings for you they still feel all these kinds of ways about you as we talked about in the reading and so they're just like Kind of like you know keep loving me or keep caring about me but not too much because the time's not right because we're in separation so whatever that means for you guys this is what i've got for you guys thanks for tuning in i appreciate you please hit the like button and subscribe it does support the channel and helps keep it going if you'd like a private reading it's one dollar for five minutes over on keen and the link for that is also down below also you can email me if you'd like a, a private reading from me a video recorded one either way thanks for watching All right, and last but not least, group three, welcome to your reading. So this was the one where somebody was holding on very tight and or holding back love, something to do with the child, but also mostly about love and some sort of wild passionate affair. So uh, maybe you're having an affair with this person. Maybe they're having an affair. Just throwing stuff out there. Don't freak out. If it's not your message, it's not your message, but other parts of the reading can resonate. Like I said at the beginning, I felt like this was somebody holding back their love and maybe pretending like it was more of a shallow relationship or it's more of a shallow relationship than it actually is. But let's see what else, let's see what your person has to say. 
Maybe they can clear it up and answer some questions for you. So for everyone who was tuned in for group three, what would their person tell them if they had no filter? What would group three's person tell them if they had no filter? Memento, a gift from someone special. I feel like this person, hold on, Twin Flame Union. Yeah, and then we got Best Friend at the bottom of the deck. So this person really feels like, you know, you are special to them, a higher level soulmate, a Twin Flame if they know that term and resonate with that. But they also feel like, you know, giving their love is like a gift that they give to people. They don't just give it to just anybody. So you could be their Twin Flame, but they could feel the strong, attraction and soulmate relationship dynamic with you and still hold back. I feel like this person does intend to um, tell you how they feel or they feel like doing that. I want to say that. Uh, maybe even give you an, like, an actual physical gift or an offering of some kind, but they haven't done it or they've held back. Um, but for this to come out, it's a good sign. It's letting, um, letting you know that they do feel like you are someone special and someone that like they feel like you know, giving their heart, mind, and body to. Even if they haven't done it. And remember guys, it is a general reading. This reading assumes that you actually have contact with your person of interest. Uh, or by that I mean have had some sort of a relationship with them, if not presently, then in the past. If you are here about a crush or somebody that you just met, it can still resonate, but just take what resonates and forget what doesn't. You can claim any reading that is saying the things that you would like to hear because you manifest your reality as God of your reality. Yeah, exactly. Your attention, is, your attention to detail is very impressive and I find it attractive. Okay, so maybe your, your person has um, key Virgo placements or you have some key Vir Virgo placements. I feel like what I just said was, you know, specific. Kind of like breaking it down that, hey, this is how this works. Um, just to let you know so that I can dot the I's and cross the T's. And if you're like that, this person finds that impressive. They find that attractive. They like that. I've endured such trying times with you and I have not given up yet. I feel like this has its ups and downs for sure. So they could be an eight or a nine life path. We've got, you're so cute. I find myself getting shy around you and oh, what you did for me was very sweet. So I feel like you have done, maybe you've given this person a gift, but they didn't reciprocate it. Or maybe you've told this person how you feel and made some, made some sort of offer to them, but they didn't reciprocate it. But they want to, they think about that. Um, they appreciate it, you know, if you've done if you've done anything like that. But they also feel like there's been some hard times in the situation, so maybe they'll elaborate. We've got some water sign energy here as well. Yeah, right on cue. Piscean energy with the hangman energy. I love how laid back you can be, so I feel it's best to let you win the argument, okay? So sometimes this person has wanted to argue with you, say like stand up to you or say something to you, um, contradict you in some way, not let you get your way, um, and, and they've held back from doing that. So to them, that's, that's difficult for them. That's what they're saying. Now is it flip-flop, vice versa, and you feel like, nah, that's me, I do that or whatever? Cool. Take it that way. What's coming through though is this, that, you know, I, I love how laid back you can be. So I feel it's best to let you win the argument, but also it could be that they are very laid back. That's what they're saying. So um, if they're not taking action, if things are in stagnation, that could be a reason why that would make sense here. Also, though, I feel like it is connected for someone that this person feels like, you know, it's difficult for them to lay back and not do anything and or it's difficult for them to let you win the argument or to let you win in general. Um, and maybe hold back. You know, it's difficult in general, bottom line, to hold back. And it's been very hard for them, but they still haven't given up. What 
else would this person say to the viewer? They had no filter. Two cards coming out of this deck each time now. We've got um, King of Fire energy, which is King of Wands, and it's saying the ability to predict foresight, um, an important attribute to have in any person. So this person is saying like they have an ability to predict. Okay, I'm getting Sagittarius Nostradamus type energy here. Okay, um, this person could have strong fire in their in their chart. They don't have to. Maybe you do. Um, but this person, it's masculine energy, so they're feeling like. Um, the, the masculine situation feels like they have foresight and that that's an important thing to have in a person and they can predict things and those things come true so um, also we've got this card coming out eight of swords loss physical or mental they are feeling the loss of the connection for those in separation or they could feel too that when they're around you they lose the ability to see things or predict what's going to happen next and that's something that's different and unusual for them. And that really corresponds with the Page of Cups energy of, you know, I find myself getting shy around you, okay? Like even their intuition or their foresight gets a little bit shy. It's like they can't trust themselves as much, so they just can't predict what's gonna happen with you. And with this laid back, you know, hanged man energy, that's all about um, making the sacrifice necessary in order to have heightened intuition and better foresight in order to you know, see things more clearly and this person's like it's really hard for me to see things clearly um, I find myself getting shy around you it could be because you are so attractive you are so cute or you're just a nice person you've done some some nice things for this person this person finds sweet it's like they can't really figure out you know how they're supposed to behave with you that's what it feels like else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Yeah, you're really cute. <laughs> viewer, you're really cute. You're really cute. You're really attractive. This person finds you really cute, really attractive. And you take their breath away. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm ready to act um yeah so I mean that makes sense this person couldn't see that they loved you like if you're in separation this is an ex or something like that it's too they feel like it's too late <sighs> one moment while I take this chat guys sorry about the interruption guys so what I was saying was <clears throat> that either this person didn't realize it was too late until after you guys were already split or if you're together, this person feels like it took them a really long time to realize, you know, how they really feel about you, that they love you, okay? And they're also saying that they're um, ready to act. So if you're wanting this person to take action toward you in some way, they're saying they're ready to do that. It could come in the form of some sort of small, sweet gesture, a memento, giving you a little gift or something. Uh, maybe reaching out to you. I feel like this person is shy to do it for some reason, regardless of who they are. Even if they're big old bad macho man or tough chick, I feel like they're a little shy when it comes to you to reach out, but it looks like they will. At least they, they're saying that. If they don't, it's because they're reluctant, they're shy. Um, something about you makes them feel that way. Mostly because apparently you guys are very attractive, at least to this person. What else would this person say? group three maybe I should just give up this is not somebody that gives up easily okay well they did say earlier um, that they've endured tr trying times here and I talked about why they felt that way they haven't given up yet but then there's other times when they feel like maybe they should just give up So we've got some hemming and some hawing going on that stems from their feelings for you and especially if, you know, for whatever reason they feel a little uncomfortable or shy to reach out to you. I want you to believe in me again. Maybe this person doesn't feel like you want them to reach out or that 
you want them to take further action on this. I don't know why these cards flew out, but we'll take them. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's why they flew out. I'm afraid I missed my chance with you. So why is this person saying they should just give up? Why are they hemming and hawing between giving up or not? Why are they, you know, <clears throat> worrying that it's too late or saying they're going to take action, but then backpedaling? They feel like they maybe missed their chance with you. And that maybe you don't believe in them and again anymore, um, but they want you and they're saying that, that they want you. Okay. Maybe they just feel like you don't feel the same, or you don't feel the same anymore. And for the peanut gallery in the back, there's always one. Um, I told him how I felt. Blah, blah, blah. Then that message isn't for you, is it? Or, they feel like, it, you know, that was a while ago. Or, something's happened since then that makes them doubt, you know, that you still feel the same way. Or it could just not be a message for you. What else would this person say? I replace lyrics with your name. So I think about you, what they're listening to songs. We're gonna get you a song card as well from this person in a moment. Um, it's time for me to cater to you as this person wants to be of service to you. They want to spoil you. They wanna um, give to you. So it's like whatever songs they're listening to, you know, they're songs about, basically about somebody in love that wants to do for the other person. That wants to make the other person feel good and treat the other person good that they're thinking about you when they're singing a song like that for um, your eyes okay so there's something about your eyes this person finds attractive Some of you have those eyes, that little emoji with the big black eyes, the real shiny eyes, like the little pleading eyes. You might be a water sign or have that strong in your chart. That card fell out while I was talking, so I feel like you're that emoji to this person. There's something about your eyes. Maybe they see themselves in, in your eyes, I think. That's probably it, you know. Um, maybe you don't always look that way, but to them, you like you look at them in a certain kind of way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we've got, I'm overwhelmed by my feelings for you in the best possible way. I think this person feels like, okay, maybe a specific message, don't know, going to say it anyway, that this person, when the person that thinks that you have those emoji eyes, those really watery, sensitive eyes, at least when you look at them, they feel like in those moments that you are overwhelmed by your feelings for them, but in a good way. And that touches their heart and makes them feel the same. So even if you don't feel like you look at this person like that, they disagree. Okay, there are some of you out there that know what I'm talking about. That you've looked at this person in a certain way. You can imagine that this is what this person might be thinking or feeling. That um, something about the way you look at them shows your emotions. And um, they want to make you feel good. They want, you know, to reward you basically for looking at them and, and perceiving them with such love, such devotion, such emotion is what I'm getting. Your love, is exactly, your love is so strong, it made me a believer. So even if this person wasn't the romantic type, even if this person didn't realize, you know, how lovable they are, you have been a mirror for them to show them how lovable they are. And you have given them reason to kind of like believe in love again, believe in romance again. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. So like this person's been through some stuff, maybe they have abandonment issues, who knows, but they became obsessed with you. So even though, you know, they have all these feelings for you, <clears throat> but they also have all these fears as well. Uh, if you were wondering, you know, what their problem has been, well, one of the problems they're saying is that when they get obsessed, they get scared. Okay, so they got, they got spooked. Or they still get spooked and then this person will probably continue to get spooked and it's not because you're doing anything wrong and it's not because they don't care about you it's quite the opposite <clears throat> what else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter I am grateful for the spiritual lesson
Oh yeah, they are learning a lot from you. This does feel spiritual. It does feel like you guys are teaching each other things that you couldn't have learned from other people. I'm so attracted to you. This one came out as well. It was my fault that I blamed you. So something about the attraction that they felt towards you, I feel like they, you know, it's that whole, was it you guys were the ones that got the twin flame card, right? Yeah, that whole twin flame union thing, which, you know, loaded word, not going to be political about it, whatever, if that's what you consider your person, cool. What it, the premise is, is that it's a mirroring energy. And this person feels like they have seen themselves in you, okay? And they are still very attracted to you. So it's almost like they are having to like embrace themselves when they're embracing you and like seeing themselves in you is a way of like through you they love themselves but they have an issue with that because they haven't felt lovable they have felt like they've been let down in the past um, they have some issues that they have to work through it's their personal job to work through them we are helping to teach this person about themselves okay and they're admitting that it was their fault that they blamed you for whatever that was that happened or whatever you know the spiritual lesson is referring to So for group three, what else would their person say? Nope. You gotta behave yourselves, cards, and do what you told. I'm reminded of you constantly. I only wanted one card to come out. Kept trying to bring two. So they're reminded of you constantly. Okay, even if you don't think that they think about you a lot, or if you don't think you matter to this person that much, or anymore, they, they're saying that they do think about you a lot. And they do have obsessive tendencies. We got that earlier. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. They like to be in control, you know? Nobody wants to be addicted to something else, or someone else. This person, you know, found themselves feeling like addicted to you. Obsession and addiction, you know, they're sisters, right? They're very close, closely related. And so they didn't want to be in a situation where they felt out of control of themselves. Um, it was scary for them. And it is scary for them. But that doesn't mean that they don't think about you. What else would this person say? Exactly, what did I say? Abandoned. Want to go steady. So it's like they... Whoa, holding off. This person has wanted to be in a relationship with you. If you guys aren't in a steady relationship, they have wanted that. If you are in a steady relationship, they do want that. They could be holding off, holding back. This has to do with abandonment issues. So if they're not moving forward with this, it has to do with abandonment issues. I'm also getting that some of this abandonment issue has to do with somebody turning them down. So if you turn them down in the past, now you feel differently, while well, they still remember when you turn them down. That still hurts their heart. If um, it wasn't you, it's referring to someone from their past. I do feel like for some, not all of you, that this person, I mean, who hasn't been turned down before, but there was something significant that happened in terms of feeling rejected that has got this person guarded and, um, you know, feeling the way that they feel. This person does really want to ask you, you know, if you will be theirs, right? If you will go with them, as we used to say. <laughs> we used to say to people, will you go with me? Do you guys remember little notes? Did you guys do that? My, any of my viewers, I'm sure some of you did. I mean, pass notes, you know, in the hallway at school. And there would be like, will you go with me? And then a little box that says yes, mark yes for yes and no for no, that kind of thing. Or have send your friend up to them and be like, so-and-so wants to know if you'll go with them. I remember telling... Know some older family members that were them, them overhearing us talk about something like that, and the older families were like, "Go where?" <laughs> Good question. Means going steady. What else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter? Vladimir Nabokov. Yes, I need you, my fairy tale, because you you are the only person I can talk with about the shade of the cloud, about the song. The song of a thought and about how when I went out to work today and looked a small what <laughs> looked a tall sunflower in the face it smiled at me with all of its seeds very flowery communication very romantic and poetic communication 
so much so that you know my logical self's having trouble I'm tripping over it but that's how you make this person feel they could be a king but they are coming across as a page of cups when it comes to you so let's read it again yes I need you that's the operative thing do they want you do they need you yes they do my fairy tale this person feels like you are special to them because you are the only person I can talk with about the shade of a cloud just about the little things in life that you can appreciate right the dreamy things in life about the song of a thought the song of a thought I am and about how when I went out to work today and looked a tall sunflower in the face it smiled at me with all of its seeds like this is strong watery energy with very um, poetic energy here I'm also getting some like Aquarius and Libra energy some little bit of Taurus but mostly watery energy somebody that um, Wow, there's a depth and a subtlety to this person's communication style and the way they think, even if they don't talk this way, um, and to the way they feel. And so what do they miss about you? These little things, right? About um, the way you communicate and kind of like the way you see things the same way and the kind of like the way that your inner children can play together or understand each other in a deeper kind of way over things that other people might not notice or find even find silly. Um, this person feels like you know you get them so what else would this person say to the viewer if they had no filter one I have subconscious wounds that make me put on a facade yeah we saw some of that and the love I feel for you is patient and grand I have never felt a love like this before so I think this person for some of you has made you feel like they don't care they don't love you um, and that's BS right and if this is if that's your story you'll know it um, you, you won't have to stretch to make it fit it will resonate this person you know does love you if this is a newer connection they really really like you but this feels like a connection that has more history to it more depth more feeling to it we could just tell by this message alone they acknowledge your, sub acknowledge your subconscious wounds that make them behave the way that they do or like put on a front maybe not show how they feel maybe they've even said that they don't they don't love you or feel that you know feel about you the same way in which case I always say err on the side of you know listen to what they say right because even if you know they're lying then they, it's still not cool that they would say that or imply that but either way through these cards today in this reading this person saying I the love I feel for you is patient and grand I have never felt like this before and that second sentence really resonates with me for group three because I feel like this person has never felt like this before I think that's been pretty clear throughout the reading so far anyway. Let's get one more card, or a couple more cards for group three regarding how their person really feels about them. Got 10 revolutions reunion so maybe this is somebody you knew or know from high school okay or maybe it's been 10 years since you've seen this person there's a reunion about to take place so you met them at a reunion something to do with the reunion and or high school or something like that it says we purchased a dwelling and look at my com compressed carbon and observe my young being this was a mistake <laughs> it's funny okay so basically the things that you say when you meet up with people you haven't seen in a long time with like this person saying I bought a new house this one saying I got engaged this one saying you know this is my child or whatever and this guy's over here like uh, this was a mistake like I don't have anything like that to say so maybe this person's feeling left behind maybe this person's feeling like they're not up to par they haven't accomplished things accomplished the things that they were meant to accomplish by this age or this stage in their life there's a sense of feeling a bit inadequate even if they have some combination of those things there's still this feeling of you know, like maybe this isn't adequate uh, maybe I'm not adequate um, buyers remorse kind of thing here maybe they're fearing that this is what's gonna happen if you guys are in separation and you reunite you're gonna find out that they're gonna find out that you know 
you've got it going on and, and they, you know, at the same place that you left them or that they just don't have it going on the way that you have it going on. Something like that there is coming through. Then we've got, it's like I'm observing myself in the reflective glass. Oh my gosh, you guys, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> you cannot. Did I or did I not just talk elaborately about how you mirror this person, the whole thing about the watery-eyed emojis and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And then this card comes out. I don't think I've ever even seen this card before. It says, it's like observing myself in the reflective glass. In other words, it's like looking at myself in the mirror. Okay, you guys mirror each other. That's twin flame vibe energy, regardless of the label. It's the feeling that this person has towards you. That's how they feel. Um, swap one existence square between any two beings. So in other words, your existence feels like it's shared between the two of you, like you have the same soul, like you guys are the same person. Um, everybody's you pushed out, but there are instances in, you know, where it, that feels more true than in other instances. And this is one of those instances where it feels very, very true. Like, they're, you guys are very, very similar in this person's estimation. Like, they really see themselves in you, okay? So it's important when somebody sees themselves in you <laughs> that they love themselves, right? That's very important because, you know, they're going to reject you because they reject something within themselves. That's usually what, you know, happens in those cases from what I can see. Um, and, you know, when any and that's true of any relationship, not just romantic. Like, if somebody is uh you know at war within themselves you know they can't have a peaceful relationship with anybody else um if they don't like themselves you know and you remind them of something that they don't like even if it's nothing bad it's still going to kind of trigger them what else would this person say mesmerizing heat source rural path leave me home okay you could be dealing with a capricorn or you could be one have that strong in your chart or be an eight life path or born in the year of the ox okay music could have some sort of a correlation with this okay so that but this is basically country home lead me home so uh country road lead me home is is the name it's a country song or it's a, a lyric of the country song so some of you guys could be country um you could be you know from the, the south you could be just you know country folks so but either way this person feels like you're their home and isn't that what's always said with like soulmate type relationships like when you meet someone they feel like home and when you meet someone you see yourself in them all of these things right but um on an earthly level you could feel inadequate and maybe like you're not up to par you're not a match for them um they feel like that you know toward you when in reality you know there's still this feeling inside that feel, feels very warm and like a moth to a flame so it's like they don't want to be burned by the fire so i'm getting that janet jack Janet Jackson song from the early 90s and I don't remember the name of it but one of the lyrics is like a moth like a moth to the flame burned by the fire that's the way love goes right so that's just the way it is that's just the way love goes like you can love and it can feel good and warm and blah 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 but guess what it can also burn your ass and I think that's kind of where this person is coming from or what they've experienced maybe they've even you know done this to you burned you. Let's see what else. What else would this person say? If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box down below the video. It's always the best way to look into your specific personal situation. And um, there is that $1 for five minutes link to Kane down below as well. You can use that anytime, day or night, when you want to talk to someone and get a reading. But for, for group three, what else would this person say if they had no filter? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So it's about forgiving and learning. So they've got some past baggage that they are sorting out. And they're saying that, you know, that's part of the way that, you know, they have been affected and why, you know, they ha and what's affecting the relationship at present like and if they need to forgive they're working on that um if they there are lessons that they need to learn which we see that there are they're learning still they're still learning but it all has to do with um releasing the past so something about their past here is they're still being haunted by something it could even be referring to past life alternate life realities that either two of you have shared so i would revise that law of assumption you know uh type revision 
of that so that you guys have like a smoother path to be together so you're not telling the story of oh you know it's karma and we have some things to work through or or, or not you know take charge of that story take charge of that narrative um, but as of right now this person is saying like they have past baggage regard whether it's related to you not not related to you or some combination where they have to heal and release and so that's the only way for them to really experience more love in the present moment and like you know hold space for that love and not run away from it you know to know that they really deserve that, that they really deserve love and that you know they don't have to worry about what might happen so much and so one final card what would this person say to group three if they had no filter of cups okay so perfect day Lou Reed I believe is the, the song so basically um, is that a moth it was talking about a moth to a flame might be butter might be a butterfly looks um, either way I feel like especially for those where somebody has walked away um, they were just trying to get to a place where they, they felt better about themselves and again, you have to feel better about yourself and you have to heal in order to be in a relationship, in order to be of value and of use to anyone else, just to, in order to show up and have a happy life, you need to heal. This person is talking about that. And this song is basically talking about with you. It's very romantic, but it's a little bit mournful as well. It's about, it's just the sound of it. You can look it up on YouTube, listen to it if you feel guided to, but it is about the perfect day, Lou Reed. So being with you, it's like the perfect day, like you, um, our perfection basically what this person is saying and but it's also this kind of like feeling of almost like um, a feeling of loss there's some sort of underlying feeling of loss associated with this it's kind of uh, I think you water signs will get it better than I can explain it okay because I feel like this is a very watery group but regardless if this is your group and is resonating with you, listening to that song um, will give you some sort of idea into the sentiment of what's going on inside this person toward you. This is what I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It does support the channel and keep me coming back to do more readings for you. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.